Hi, I'm the Aiden Drums, uh, and today I'm going to start a new little series because, you know what, I just want to. Uh, I've had this game kind of laying around for uh, upwards of a month. Uh, I, I think I got it during the Steam sale, or maybe I got it a little bit before, something like that. So, um, yeah, Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> uh, I've messed around with it a bit. I, I love the game because I'm, I'm a fucking nerd. So, um, and, uh, while I was on vacation, uh, apparently there was an update and my old saves were corrupted, so better time than ever to start a new save and I'll do a series about it. So, here we go. Let's, uh, let's, um, get a new one go. I wonder if they've added the career mode yet. No. Geez, this game's been in development since like 2011, and they still haven't had. They don't have a career mode yet. Like, I'm just. I can't wait to see what the fucking final game's gonna be. They're taking their time, which I like. Um, so let's do Casa because I have a flag for that. Turbine Aeronautic Space Administration. Yeah, that, that that's what, that's what. Yeah. Let, let, Yes, override it. Fuck that. So, um, what I have planned for this would be, um, ooh, this is new. I like what they've done with the hangar and astronaut complex. You got your vehicle assembly, your launch pad. Tracking station got an upgrade. What the hell is this little building though? Hold on, let's go check up the astronaut. Oh, so now you have to have. Okay. I want the bravest and brightest. I want to hire you. And I want to hire you. Oh, you're not too bad. Okay. Huh, that that's that, that's kind of cool and it'll make me think now when I'm doing my missions I won't just build stupid stuff and ooh, it's got prettier. Um okay. Did they upgrade this Oh, textures they must have lost the textures for it. Okay, so let's let's see what's new because I have not played this in a while. Well, actually, I haven't played it since the update, so I cannot wait for. Well, first things first. Um, I feel it's o it's only fair that our uh, the first mission I do will be to get a satellite in space, like the Russians did back in the fifties. Yeah, I think Sputnik was launched in the six fifties. Uh, um so in commemoration for the first um kind of active man in space besides whatever like top secret Nazi experiments haven't been released that turns out like the Nazis have a moon base or something. Um which would be kind of unnerving because they're probably going to be making some weird superhuman. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna just have like a sense of ah, oh, finally a quad. Uh, I'm just gonna have a sense of like, ooh, what's this? What's this? ADD. Um, holy shit, there's a few new things. I like it. What the hell's this? Oh wait, no, that that's been on in here, the ion engine. Um. Or has that model been in? I th one of these, something's new here. That's new. I do like that they added these little, like, propane tank looking things. That's, that's cool. So, let's just have a little mosey about and see what's what. 
Oh god, I just realized, what if they added new planets? Oh, man. Now, granted, I have not been able to land on a planet yet. I have not even, I haven't been even, uh, eh, I haven't even been able to land on the moon. Mun? Thing? So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, of a, oh, why isn't that? It seems like this. No, the snap works. Huh. I like how there's all the stuff going on in the background. Just. Wow, they've. Oh, my flag! Yes! Wow, this is. This is very impressive. I, I like this. Okay, so that looks about right. That's about center. So we want to put um we want propulsion. We want to get a little tank. A little bit bigger. Ah, it's just like it's hard. Because you don't want to have a big because what I plan on doing is I plan on decoupling whatever um whatever propulsion I have in my last stage. I wonder if there's any like Oh, that's not gonna do. There's not really a small thing, so what I'll do actually is I can have an adapter later on in the series. Or in the staging. And I can just decouple from the adapter. I can still have my big ass engine. Yeah, that'll work. Oh god, I'm just getting this sense of like there's so much new stuff. And I'm probably I'm pretty sure there's not that much new stuff. So it's gonna be radio. Not really radio. Um Control by a it's gonna be on man, that's it. <laughs> brain fart. I've only had like I've had a very a very, very few hours of sleep and I still don't know what time zone I'm in. Um but I'm home. So I'll get back on my normal schedule eventually. Um Let's see. I think a poodle engine. Right, wait a minute, this is new. There was never a rock there was never an engine that small. That's definitely new. And you have your atomic engine. I think a poodle will be good for that last stage. So let's start. Stop fucking around. Uh, let's get a. Incline reaction wheel. What the fuck? Did they renamed the. SAS? So there's that, kind of, and then we'll have our impulsion. Uh, way too big. That's for a proper ship. This is just for a satellite. I don't think I'm gonna need a um an adapter. So I'll just throw that away. Uh. Oh, I'm just just so much new stuff. I should go on vacation more often because then I'll um I'll just see all this. I'll I'll come back to all this great stuff. So let's try and put it in center. I know that's probably a really stupid idea, but center mass for this. This will just be so that I can maneuver okay so we got that let's get our stage for our um what you call it oh we need power that's right so let's get some of these here let's turn that off so I don't have to look at it 
the one by sixes so that they don't interfere with the RCS. Um, put a few extra bat. Oh, actually, let's just say saw that. Do this. I don't like how that's exposed. I want to just put an adapter there, and that might actually be okay. Grab that, put that there. This is going to be a really bulky one now. So no, never mind. Oops. Stack that, stack that, throw that away, get that, throw that away, go to science. And let's just get something like that. There we go. So we don't need too much power. And RCS is still pretty much in the center of mass. Excellent. Okay, so now we go to structure. Um, and we go to staging. That'll work. Okay, or is... What's the difference between these? Equipped with hopefully small explosive charges. Okay, this one was the very violent one. I want to just do this one. Okay, and now we have to put on a whoa that's way too big this is just for our final stage poodle damn it I think the poodle engine got bigger that on then we'll put on another coupler for another stage I forgot how much this was to just get one thing into space. Okay, that's a big one, and we don't want to put a big one on yet. Or do we? What do I want to do? Let's just... Wait, anyway, they've had a quad. What's this one then? It's just an alternative. I think it's bigger. That is what she said. Um. Okay, so that's so far looking good. We don't want to make it too high, or else we'll run into some major problems. So let's. No, I want I want to try out these new ones. Oops. I want to try out these ones, but they're not built for my ship. These are for very very large ones. And this is the thing I would need for it. So let's throw on. No, nope, we wanted this one. Put on a few of those, put on a mainsail, because everything's better with a mainsail. Um, and that should be my final stage. I hope. <laughs> um, well, no, that's not going to be my final stage. This will be my final stage, which I will then decouple, and then we'll have a satellite. This will be my second stage. Second to last stage. I'm still not sure what I want to do. Docking clamp. Damn, that's a big docking clamp. I can only imagine what you would do with one of those. Um, you can get another decoupler. Bigger. There we go. Now that one still might be pretty violent. And let's see if there's... Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's that. Um, I wanted to. I want to put a quad on really, really bad. Just, I really want to put one on. Um, okay, so let's go propulsion. Do I just throw these things on? No. Way too big. 
I could put the solid state on, or the solid fuel. Um, here, let's zoom out a little bit. How do you zoom out? Oh, there we go. Um, so I mean, I was trying to do the ones that weren't on the number pad. Uh, da -da -da -da. yeah, that works. Do um that looks a bit unnecessary. Let's take off that last one. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I want to get off the ground. So let's see. Max power two hundred. <sighs> Max power two hundred and fifteen. At sea level, it's three twenty. Uh, three twenty. Um, man, that has some great ISP and vacuums. Basic jets, no. Skippers won't fit on that, will they? No. Saw it. Okay, so we have that. Let's get some solid state to help us get out of atmosphere. I wonder if they changed the way that you have to get out of atmosphere. I wouldn't think they would, but they very well could have. And that might be tricky, because I had a way that I could get out, and I like the way I could get out. But, it may have changed, so... Because I just realized how much fuel I'm taking out into space with me, so maybe I might need to put on about a hundred more of these solid state boosters. <sighs> okay, ooh, that's cool. We going up the elevator. Isn't this your floor? Nope, going up some more. Do, 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 do. Are you going on to that elevator now? Is your job just to go in a circuit? Because that's what it seems like. If he goes down and then goes over to this elevator like that, granted it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on, but that would just be fucking hilarious. Okay, so you're going around... Running over some innocent Kerbal scientists, engineers. Oh, that poor bastard. And once again, back in the elevator. Your job is officially to go up and down in the elevator. I hope you feel good about yourself. <laughs> okay, so um, let's actually hold on to those. Let's replace these with... I always hate using these ones, but this or the radial ones. The radial ones are a little more sleeker, so we can probably get away with it. Let's try and get that equal right about. Boop. And. Boop. Okay. So we got that. I'll add some fins to it in a minute. But let's see if we can put on another. I don't want to test my luck because these engines plus the boosters should be enough to get me out of atmosphere. I feel really confident. I've been playing this game enough. I feel like I can build a rocket kind of on the fly and it'll work. Then again, I usually have a main sail as my primary with the boosters. So this is going to be very, very new agey, which is what we were going to do when we were start we're going to I think it was when we were gonna build a 
ship for our trip to Mars before NASA lost a lot of funding, which is very, very sad because I really like NASA. But it's okay because I have my own little NASA and I'm playing it right now. So, um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. <laughs> eh. I think lift has to be where your thingy mobobber is. It's going to lose those. That's the problem. So, not much will be too much. So, what if I replace these with, say, standard ones? Oh man, I'm trying to figure out how the hell am I going to make this bit work. Oh, I don't know how this is going to be. Um, yeah, this is going to just kind of be on the fly. You know, best that I can do. Um, let's see what it looks like when I take these pods away. Okay, so it's still pretty close to being even. Okay, so that's on that pretty much, oops, straight, good. Um, oh, Alright, moment of truth everyone, let's fucking do this. Uh, okay, so... Satellite Alpha. Sputnik 1. Alright. I like that. That's a good name. I really hope I didn't misspell anything. Because that'll make me just look like a complete asshole. Alright. Um. Lawn? Oh, fuck, I really hope this works. So. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the, um, those four engines that are on the quad thing, these ones. Gotta put those right in y'all. Okay, so hopefully we can I really wish there would be more like the Kerbin landscape is just so barren and depressing. Like, can't there be a city? Why is there no cities? There's nothing on Kerbin. Okay, so, here we are, launch day of Satellite Alpha, Sputnik 1, um, God, I hope this works. We'll lose these, and we'll lose these, turn on the mainsail, attach it, right? And then we'll turn on the little tiny one when we're just trying to perfect our orbit. Okay. Three, two, one.
good. Oh shit. Bring down the engine a little, turn on S turn off SAS. And start to bring our Turn on the R uh, RCS. I don't want to turn it on too much because we're gonna need that for when we're going into our orbit. Now let's engage. Bye bye, Kerbin. Okay, so that's still really, really small. We're about here. Yeah, that will be. We already got a good orbit kind of going. Oh, we're losing. Shit, though. Oh man, this is really nerve wracking sometimes. Okay. Map. That will bring us about here. Really, the goal of this mission today is not to get a pretty orbit, it's just to get an orbit. So, with that said, that is what we're looking at. Okay, so uh, let's speed up just a little bit. So that we can get up to the one and a half minute node. We are now officially in space, everyone. Um, okay, so T minus 30 seconds. When we get to about 10, I'll drop it down to normal speed. Okay, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, full thrust. And kill engine. We are now in orbit. Uh, that is not what I want, though. I want more. So let's try and realign ourselves with. Let's get a little more burn. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in orbit. So let's actually try and expand this out a little bit more.
so that we are much better off. We have a good hundred meter or hundred thousand meter um orbit. Oh fuck. Okay, so that's gonna be another fourteen minutes. Let's just speed up time very slightly. T minus five minutes, two, one. Okay, so let's try and find our This is going to have to do Oops. Luckily, I have plenty of fuel for this. I will be fine. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Now, see, the mistake I'm making here sometimes is um, I'm not making small corrections. Like, when you drive, you're not supposed to be... You're supposed to look ahead of your... Of, like, where you're going. I am looking at my hood, and I'm making very, very bad. Um, ooh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I, th I like that. I like that a lot. I will keep that orbit. Um, so, I must say goodbye to you, Mainsail. You have been good to me. Let's uh, just kind of turn us around. Okay, so we're going to do a cut here, just disengage from that, bye-bye the, um, bye-bye my friend. Oh man, I could really use some lights right now. Luckily we'll be going into the, ooh, wow, wow, that's really touchy. I need my RCS, or my SAS. Um, so let's kind of get us into, <laughs> I love how quick it just decides to fix itself. And now we are coming up on the... North Pole of Kerbin. Excellent. So, I will be able to extend my panels in a minute, and we will have a communication satellite after I also unlock the dish. Ooh, wow. Man, it looks like the moon, like the moon is so close, but yet it's so far. In all reality, it's not terribly far. I'm just, you know, no good at playing this game, but I hope with me recording and what have you, I will get better. Cause maybe, just maybe, I might get people watching videos and maybe I can get some, you know, stuff to help me <laughs> learn how to play the game. Because, I mean, I, I'm kind of atrocious at playing it. I like I I I when I originally wanted to you know play this today I really 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 wanted to try and take the most intellectual approach I could and you know get all the formulas that you need for calculating uh resistance and space travel and whatnot and honestly I was like fuck it I'm going to just get on today and fucking get this bitch up in the space 
I did not do this, like, very well planned, and actually it's paid off pretty well. I am really pleased with the fact that it only took me two tries. Um, you guys will only see one because I cut that this the first try out. And the first try wasn't a failure either. I use I'm using the same design that I used for the first one. I was just an idiot because I forgot how to uh get into an orbit. I had this really really bad um kind of like it it had a very similar um trajectory as a uh intercontinental ballistic missile. So yeah. But here we are. Let's toggle this. Maybe we can listen in on what the sun is saying or more appropriately because these panels do kind of move and twist and turn and they get enough energy. I mean my my electric charge is at a hundred Sorry about that. Um Damn it, I hate clicking off the screen. That's one reason why I also had to cut the last flight was because I clicked off screen and it killed my recording. So Ugh. But uh we did it. Ooh, there's a lake over there. Uh I've successfully gotten my first man made object into space, as well as some assorted debris. Which is now happily swinging around the planet Kerbin. Um, so, let us. It is not a probe. It is a probe. It is definitely a probe. It's not a station, it's not a ship, it's not a rover, and it's not a base. So, I think it is safe to say we do not need to call it. Satellite Alpha anymore because we got it into space. It is now Sputnik 1. 2. Because I did try and launch the first one. So that's only appropriate that it's the second uh, the second one that I launched. <sighs> oh, look, there's my debris. Uh, it should be going in for re entry soon, actually. I think that is. Yeah, that, that looks like it might be pretty low. It, it, it's far enough away where it won't have any kind of negative um, it won't kill me <laughs> it will not try and destroy my, my my pretty much beautiful flight that I've gotten so far uh, can these things still get light yeah energy flow uh, it's a little less than one but for the most part, 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 most part, uh, my comm satellite is now in orbit, and that thing should be going down soon. Maybe we can fly over the, uh, do we have a path over the space station? Unfortunately, no. I think the space station is there. It's weird. I went on... I went to try and have this kind of orbit, and I somehow got this kind of orbit. It's funny how that kind of... Or maybe the space station is there. The space station is somewhere on the continent that most resembles Africa. I know that for sure. And then... Ooh, this is actually an asteroid crater there. I might want to actually go have a look at that. I love how, like, perfectly, though... Antarctica looks. It almost looks like the, the Kerbin Antarctic looks very, very well done. And it looks like a proper, like the proper, um, Antarctic on Earth, besides the fact that this is jutting into it. But enough about my me rambling on and on and on. Like, I probably could for a, a solid hour. Um, I'm gonna leave you there and. We will have more installations of this for sure, because I really like this game, and uh, I want to see what I can do. 
my next mission will more than likely be a manned orbit around and then also return mission for said um, astronaut. Now that shouldn't be too hard because I really wish we could do monkeys and dogs and shit. Like, I, I don't want to waste Kerbins, but I mean, they're so... In previous um, updates, or previous versions, I should say, they were just so inexpensive because you just got a new batch of Kerbins every time you, uh, you know, you blew your uh, your spaceship up or, you know, oh, out of fuel, oh well, have fun circling the sun. It's but now I mean you have to yeah you, you have to kind of treasure your um your Kerbins because you got you know you don't want to have you don't want to have stupid pilots and you also want to have brave pilots who are willing to go above and beyond so yeah I think I'll leave it I'll uh end it there uh this has probably been about an hour um so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want more, subscribe. I'll be putting more out. I hope to put it out maybe once a week or so. Um, on top of like my Minecraft videos and my Arma videos and whatnot. So um, thanks uh, again. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I've been the Aiden Drums. See you next time.